Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have an amazing day. Please do subscribe, like, and comment if you want to support my channel or join my Discord. Thank you. Okay, let's jump to the story right away. Previous chapter, Jean Yenshin saw Anya came out from a hospital and he rushed over her and called out her name. But instead of happy to see him, Anya shows a scared face. Anya, it's Yenshin. This child, what's wrong with you? And she even turns her head away. Why do you turn away? Anya. Seeing her unusual reaction, Jean Yenshin tried to call her name again. But she starts to tremble when she heard her name. Uh, I'm not. You have recognized a wrong person. I'm not Anya. Auntie, what's going on? Huff, it's a long story. Would you like to come to our family's house if you have a time now? Anya seems to have a mental trauma issue. Jean Yenshin couldn't help worrying about her. Being worried and curious about her condition, he then agrees to stop by the family's house to find out what exactly has happened. Okay. Meanwhile, the scene jumps to a college building. Inside an office of a school. Jing Xiao just finished handed the basic procedures to attend architectural classes again. Well, that's all for the basic procedures. The professor Qi then confirmed that she can now start to continue her study again. You can attend the class next week. Okay, thank you. See you, Professor Qi. Jing Xiao is so happy that she can finally come back to study again and after thanking the professor, she plans to leave. Wait a minute, Jing Xiao. I have something for you. This is the application form to go to M University in Country D. There's a quota for our school next year. I would like to recommend you to go. Professor, I've been left school for almost a year. My achievements might be not so good anymore. What's more, I was originally a student of Professor Rain. I'm very grateful for your willingness to teach me, and I can't occupy your quota anymore. Don't be too busy to refuse. I gave you this because I've considered about it. First of all, none of my students have the ideal grades. If you can hand in a good grade, it will be good for me and the school's reputation influence. Second, Laurin and I are confident you and Zhean are Laurin's most valued students. If I can help you, it can also be regarded as fulfilling one of his last wishes. Now Zhean has gone to country D. Whether it's me or Laurin, I hope to see you together. Professor, Zhuan and I have broken up since long ago. I'm a married woman now. Going to M University together was her dream with her ex-boyfriend Zian back then, but ever since she's forced to marry Jin Yenshin. She has long given up the dream. So, that's the case. Well, that's fine, but I will still keep your application qualification for the time being. Professor Chi still hopes she can change her mind. In three months, if you still want to go abroad, come to me, alright? Alright, thank you. With a bright smile, Jing Xiao quickly thanks the professor and isn't trying to refuse his good intentions anymore. She then says goodbye to the professor. See you, Professor Chi. And when she is still in the office door, a hand is trying to reach her. Someone suddenly dragged her over and startled her out. Ah. Got your cheek? Chen Chen, are you going to scare me to death? It turns out it's her bestie, Chen Xian Xian. 